Greetings to each and everyone. This is Group 3. Today, we are going to tackle about mathematical language and symbols in real life. Today's topic is entitled, Real-World Use of Mathematical Symbols and Language, with the theme, Mathematics Beams to Real-World Language and Symbols. And these are the objectives. First, understand mathematical terms, symbols, and norms. Second, understand the language of mathematics for what it is. Third, address the significance and function of using mathematics as a language. And this is our group presentation's flow or conceptual framework. We all know the growth of mathematical proficiency depends on the teaching and learning of mathematical language. In this lesson, we're going to tackle and have a better understanding about how important is mathematics as language and symbol. Mathematical language Mathematical language is a system used in the field of mathematics to communicate mathematical ideas, concepts, and theories among people. It is distinct and unique from the usual language most people are used to and it is used to communicate abstract and logical ideas. Mathematical symbols Mathematical symbols are used to refer to certain quantities, concepts, and ideas, among other things. Mathematics as a language has a syntax to make the expression well-formed, to make the characters and symbols clear and valid that do not violate the rules. Mathematical language make it easy to express the kinds of symbols, syntax, and rules that mathematicians like to do and characterized by being precise, being concise, and being powerful. The first one is precise. Precision of mathematical language means the language is able to make very fine distinctions about and between things. The second is conciseness, is the ability to say things briefly. And the last one is powerful. It is ability to express complex thoughts with relative ease so that most people can understand them. Writing mathematical language as an expression or a sentence. Mathematical expression is the mathematical analog of an English noun. That is, a mathematical item of interest is correctly represented by the right arrangement of mathematical symbols. It is not complete concept and it is not logical to inquire as to whether a phrase is true or false. The most common expressions are numbers, sets, and functions. Examples are the following. A, 5. B, 2 plus 3. C, open and close parenthesis, 6 minus 2 plus 1. And B, 1 plus 1 plus 1. They may all look different, but they just have different names for the same number. The basic syntax for entering math expressions enables you to enter expressions using 2D notation. Mathematical sentences Mathematical sentences is the mathematical analog of an English sentence. That is, a correct arrangement of mathematical symbols that state a complete thought. Hence, it makes sense to us if a sentence is true, false, sometimes true, or sometimes false. Examples The sentence is 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 is true. The sentence is 10 minus 5 is equal to 8 is false. The sentence is x is equal to 2 is sometimes true or sometimes false. Next is the mathematical convention. Mathematical convention is a fact name, notation, or usage which is generally agreed upon by mathematicians. Examples, this symbol means plus, used as 3 plus 1 is equal to 4, and this symbol means minus, used as 10 minus 1 is equal to 9, and this symbol means multiply, used as 3 times 3 is equal to 9 in the example and more. Perform operations on mathematical expressions correctly. In simplifying mathematical expressions, the following order of operation is one critical point to observe. Before we use MDAS and PEMDAS are a set of rules that determines which operation should be done before or after others. But now, 
most scientific calculators follow bud mass, that is brackets, order, divisions, and multiplications, addition, and subtraction. This set of rules merely prioritize the sequence of operations from most important to least important. The following are the steps to be followed. Step number one, do as much as you can to simplify everything inside parentheses first. Step number two, simplify every exponential number in the numerical expression. Step number three, Multiply and divide whichever comes first from left to right. And lastly, step number four, add and subtract whichever comes first from left to right. Now we have here two examples. First, we have here a mathematical sentence that indicates open brackets 11 minus 5 close brackets times 2 minus 3 plus 1. Now, we have to remove the parentheses by solving the equation inside the parentheses. So 11 minus 5 is equal to 6. Now that we removed it, we have now this mathematical sentence of 6 times 2 minus 3 plus 1. Next is we do multiply. 6 times 2 is equal to 12. Now we have this mathematical sentence. After that, let's do the last two steps of method by subtracting and then adding. Now we have the final answer of 10. Now we have here the example number 2, which we should evaluate 10 divided by 2 plus 12 divided by 2 times 3. Solution. Using the PEMDAS rule, we need to evaluate the division and multiplication before subtraction and addition. It is recommended that you put parentheses to remind yourself the order of operation from the given 10 divided by 2 plus 12 divided by 2 times 3. We separate 10 divided by 2 and put parentheses on it as well as 12 divided by 2 times 3 with parentheses on it. After that, we have to solve both equations inside the parentheses. So 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. Meanwhile, 12 divided by 2 times 3 is equal to 18. After that, we have now the final equation of 5 plus 18. Adding these two numbers, we have the final answer of 2. Now that we have finally discussed some parts of mathematic language and symbols, I hope that you have learned something from the discussion. That's all for today. Thank you!